all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Sorry my video's a bit later today. I've been absolutely stacked trying to finish a client's website off. I've just got that finished, so now I can chill out and get ready for the darts this evening. I really enjoyed day one of the darts. As you can see, I've got the results here, what I'm gonna go through, and I'm also gonna show you my predictions as well, as well as some of the stats and highlights throughout the video. Um, so please bear in mind when I do this video, I've got to be honest with you guys, I've got to be a little bit careful. I know a lot of you have asked, am I going to be doing highlights? And the answer is yes, but they're going to be very limited because unfortunately I've got Sky Sports on my back. Some of the videos that I did recently had, one of the videos I had had 30, 40,000 views overnight. I edited um, some of the games that are like an hour and a half long into like between 10 and 12 minutes and they were going crazy. But Sky Sports have got on my back and they've took three of them down a couple of weeks ago. So I have to be very careful. So I'm gonna do what I can under the fair policy use and add bits in. So yes, I'd love to do more, but unfortunately, my hands are tied. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and clear it up. It's not, I don't wanna do them, I'm very limited. So obviously, these are the results for um, day one. Um, Steve beat and beat William O'Connor 3 0 um, 3 -0, 3 -0 1 I'm going bloody mad. Steve beat and beat William O'Connor. Three sets to one. James Wilson beat Christoph Bratatsky, or Chatsky, uh, 3-1. Michael Van Gerwen beat Christian Kist, 3-1. And Gerwin Price beat Ted Everts, 3-0. So those were the results for day one. As you can see now, we're going to fade into my predictions that I did. There you go. Well, uh, I got three out of four right. Um, but I didn't get any results right. I was sure I was going to get a couple right, but I didn't. So as you can see, I went for Beaton to win 3-2. I went for James uh, Christoph Ratatsky to beat Wilson. Um, MVG to beat Kissed Easily. And Gowin Price to beat Ted Everts. Um, so none of my actual scores are right, but got three winners out of the four. So I don't think that's too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through one match at a time, give my opinion and thoughts on it. Um, as always, guys, leave your comments below and we can um, get chatting about it. So the first game is obviously between Steve Beaton and William O'Connor. Now, as you can see, I'll put the stats there. Uh, Steve Beaton's free dart average was 92.38, where um, O'Connor's was 91.27. 140's 11 to Beaton, 7 to O'Connor. So that was fairly good on that. Um, 180's Beaton had 3. O'Connor had 6. This was the massive, massive downfall. William O'Connor could not hit doubles yesterday for Toffee. His percentage at the end of it was 21.74. Beaton's was 30 39.13. But really, O'Connor should have hit more doubles. He, I think it would have been a totally different game. He lost um, when he started missing them. It was his debut at the World, so it was very difficult. When he started missing his doubles, he just totally went off the boil. So, um, And I don't think he really recovered back from that. Yes, he got a set back, but he weren't the same player that he would have been had he got it. So his 180s, like I say, he had six 180s there. So his 180 hitting was good. But obviously, same as old Bobby George say, um, scorings for show and doubles for dough. So you can see the highlights that I've had playing there. I enjoyed that game. Um, beating through to the next rounds. So, yeah, uh, my prediction, really. Um, when went on to James Wilson versus Christoph Ratachki. Uh, I know I say the surname wrong. No, listen, I that I think that James Wilson has got the funniest nickname, the funniest nickname ever. Um, I, it's it's just the the lethal biscuit. Um, I know he was like the jet or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I it's it's just if I was the other dart player behind James Wilson, and I I, I kept looking. I even sat there laughing when I was watching the darts last night. It's just. I've just found it, I'm um, probably being a bit childish, I've just found it really, really funny. But anyway, he come through that match 3-1. Christoph started off really well, um, took the first set. I had predicted him to win it. Let's have a look at the averages there. Wilson, 97.94. You've got Rutaski on 92.59. Uh, 11, 140s for Wilson. Uh, 8 for Rutaski. 180s, 1 and 5. Uh, yeah, so 47.62% checkout are averages for Wilson. 57.14% for... I am keep saying that name. You know I get it wrong. And I know that you guys laugh about it because many of you have mentioned it in the comments. But I think that uh, James Wilson did do well. I didn't think that James Wilson would win this one because I always think he's a player that... Um, 
is good at losing. Does that make sense? I think that he loses a lot of games, but he should win. Uh, obviously, he went one, one set to nil down. I thought, here we go again. But he did get back into it and managed to get through that one, 3-1. We then went on to MVG against Christian Kiss. Now, this was this was awesome for me. To see Christian Kiss, uh, what he's been through, and his health issues, and his arthritis, to come on the stage at the World Starts Championship and play like he did, he's got an over 100 average. I feel really sorry for Kiss. If he was playing, probably, let's even say he was playing 75 to 80% of other people in the first round with a 100.23 average, he would have gone through. I didn't think he was going to play anything like it. I thought he might struggle. I thought he might get an 83, an 84, 85 average from his recent performances. But this guy can play. He's a, world, he's a previous world champ from the BDO. He's just been had all these health issues that's really stopped him um, from going on strong. And he, he shoo it last night. Now, this is going to be awesome for his confidence. Really pleased for Kiss. Obviously, what can you do with Van Gerwen? What can you do with Van Gerwen? Who can come up there and actually take him on in his plan like that? Do you know what I mean? It, I don't think it mattered if somebody was playing up there last night. What is his average last night? 106.17. He had 4.180s, 12.140s, 60. What is it? 68.75% checkout. It wouldn't have mattered. If somebody had come up there last night and they were hitting a 110 average, Van Gerwen would have hit a 114. It'd have, this this guy can play off the board. But what I want to say is, in regards of that match, Christian Kist, bloody legend. Great to see you back playing darts like that. Let's hope you have a good 2018. So a massive thumbs up there. We then go on to the final game of the evening. Ex-rugby player Gerwin Price against Ted Everts. In the comments, there were so many of you guys saying that Ted Everts is going to win this. Watch out for Ted Everts. It was his debut. I thought he did okay. What was his average? 85.6, uh, 6140s, 1180, and a 75% checkout. Obviously, he didn't win many legs, so his checkout was high. Ted Everts got stage fright. He was good. He's going to be a very good, solid player. But it's a totally different ball game, bringing your game from the floor and these other tournaments into the world where you've got millions and millions and millions of people watching it on primetime TV. It's a good experience. He's got to go away, learn from it. The Iceman Price did really well. He got into the game um, very early, hit some big averages, had over 100 average, what did he have, a 101.55, 10140s, 4180s and a 36% checkout. He missed a lot of doubles um, when he shouldn't have done. He could have won it easily. He got the 3-0 win. So Price is over the bloody moon. What does he say? Boom! That's what he says. He bloody loves it. I love it. Um, I'm looking forward to tonight. We've got Taylor on tonight against Doby. Uh, so pretty much they're my, you know, they're my um, the highlight stat for the games yesterday for day one. I can't wait for for, for this evening to start. Um, probably getting a bit excited now because it's been one of them days where it's been manic busy. But as always, guys, if you like my videos, please leave a like. Um, Subscribe to the channel and check out dartsplanet.tv. That is even speaking to the website now, looking for all the latest World Starts Championship videos. So, as always, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye!